In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add audio to your drags and your drops. My name is Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically with the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. If you enjoy what I'm doing here today, by all means, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with all of your e-learning colleagues. So this is a feature I didn't anticipate with the all new Adobe Captivate version 13, and that was the ability to add audio to your drag and drop widget. I certainly expected to see something at some point with all the other wid widgets like the click to reveal and so forth, but I honestly wasn't expecting drag and drop. But of course it makes sense. If you can do it for one widget, you can do it for all the others. Let me show you how you can use this to add an engagement level to your drag and drop that wouldn't otherwise be there. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I've got a knowledge check set up as a drag and drop here. This is sort of my four steps to overcoming uh, challenging situations here. We've got describe the behavior, express your feelings using I statements, specify the new type of behavior and identify the consequences if they don't do what you're asking them to do. And I've set up, of course, the drag objects kind of in a jumbled order here, so it should definitely work out nicely. And I've created audio for each of these four, plus I think what I'll use is sort of a hover effect with you know a description of each of the four steps here. And then I also have an audio recording of the question stem here, or the instructions, if you will. So this should work out really well. Let's go ahead and start off with the interaction to play the slide audio. Now, normally you could just, you know, have the slide audio play and you could have closed captions for it here. But the problem is, is that I suspect, I haven't tested this, but I suspect there could be the possibility of crosstalk. But if you use triggered audio for your slide interactions, your, your slide audio, uh, I think it'll work out well. So if I choose slide enter and click on more and play media, we can browse to where our question stem is right here. Click open, and that will play when the slide starts up, okay? Click done, and now what we're going to do is click each of our drag objects. So if you click the drag object, click on add an interaction, you can trigger the audio one of three ways. You can simply click and tap on it to trigger the audio. You could uh, trigger the audio when you drag it or when you drop it on the target. And I think I've tried this once with the drag and it works okay, but I think the drop might be more effective. So I'm gonna try it with that. But you can, you know, modify this uh, by using one of the other two options if you wish. See how that works for you. So let's choose drop. Let's choose play media. And I'm going to browse to where my audio clips are. And this is specifically drag 01. So we'll click on open. Okay. The second one is this item here. So we'll select that. Add an interaction. We'll choose drop, play media, browse and we're choosing drag number two. Okay, I'm also gonna click on this one. This is my third drag item. Add an interaction, we'll, we'll choose drop, we'll choose play media, we'll browse, and this will be drag number three. Click open. We'll do the same thing for our fourth and final one. I know they're in a, a mixed up order, but that's actually ideal. Add an interaction, drop, play media, browse to where that audio is. It's drag number four. We'll click on open here. And now I'm gonna choose the drop targets. So in this case here, describe the behavior. We'll add an interaction. And when we drag over, because we're already gonna drop our drag objects. So when we drag over, and we hold it there, we'll hear a preview of what this 
item is. So click on drag over, play media, browse, and that's going to be drop 01. Do the same thing for drop 02 right here. Drag over, play media, browse, drop 02. Select our third one here, add an interaction, drag over, play media, browse, and this will be drop three, open, and last but not least, identify the consequences, add an interaction, drag over, play media, browse, and drop number four. Click open. And I think we're good to test this out now. So let's do a preview. Using what you've learned, put the four steps into the correct order to show how you would handle this situation. Okay, so we've heard our, our instructions there. Now let's grab the first of our drag and drops. One, describe the behavior. Okay, that's where I think it should go. Let's release it. Recently, you made some comments about persons like me. Very cool. Let's drag our second one over. Two, express your feelings using I statements. Okay, I'll let it go. I was offended by your comments and I don't feel it was appropriate behavior. And our third one. Three, specify the new type of behavior. Let's try dragging it over to four just to see. Four, identify the consequences. Yeah, that's not right, so. Three, Specify the new type of behavior. We'll let that go. I would appreciate if you'd not make fun of persons like me. This is so much cooler than just a silent interaction. Four, identify the consequences. If this sort of behavior continues, I will have to speak to the manager and HR. So I, I don't think it makes it more interactive, as I've said on some of the other widget videos that I've done, but it certainly makes it more engaging and dynamic. I really feel like I'm connecting more with the content when I hear the preview of our fictitious person who's having this conversation with someone who's discriminating or uh, harassing a fellow employee. And of course, now our students can continue with the rest of the project by clicking on the next button, which is built right into this widget. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, Hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.